The interview for Southampton was lovely. It was a group interview as well as a solo interview. But before that, when you got there, there were student ambassadors, which are other medical students already at the university, who sat down with you, had a chat with you, tried to kind of like calm your nerves a bit, because it's terrifying. Um, and there was a food buffet. It was just, they really made you feel like they wanted you to be there, which wasn't the vibe I got from some of the other medical schools I'd had interviews at. From the first year, you were having clinical placements a day every two weeks and it really just helps you sort of get a bit more comfortable in that kind of environment. There's loads of hospitals on offer that you get to take part in placements on. I've already been this year to probably five or six. Every hospital is different in the way it operates. So to get that experience early and realising how each one works is brilliant. And last year I got to choose and I got to do A&E and it was a mix of A&E and ICU, which is intensive care unit. And that was where I realised that that might be something I'm really, really interested in. So when I first came to university, I was quite adamant that I didn't want to just mix with medics. It's, it's quite a difficult thing. It's actually called the medic bubble, um, which is a real thing apparently, where you kind of just get drawn into just spending time with medics. But we're stressed from the beginning that it is important to have friends outside of medicine. It's just relax with and that type of thing. So I have made a lot of friends with people that aren't medics. Southampton's definitely been everything I expected it to be. Um, maybe a little bit more too. <laughs> I've met so many friends, uh, people that I would never have met in any other walk of life. Um, I've got to play more football than I could possibly have imagined. <laughs> and yeah, it's just medicine also is just really, it's just been the perfect package for me.